So you may want to, um, you may be in a situation where um, if you're a very active person, you get so fed up with being injured. You get so fed up with not being able to do things yourself. You get so fed up with the boredom. You get so fed up with thinking the world's passing you by. You get so fed up with not being busy. Like you really just want to come back as fast as possible. Well, that's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Because if you don't heal properly or give yourself the attempt to heal properly, you're going to cause yourself more problems. So if you have an injury and you're in a position where you're trying to come back too early because you didn't rest long enough and you end up coming back and you end up re-injuring yourself, so now you have to be back in the bed for another month or so. Let's say how bad the injury is. Let's say uh, a month. So now you're in bed again for a month. So you were gone, you tried to come back too soon, you re-injured yourself, you made it more complicated. So now you have to wait longer to come back. And then when you come back, it, the same process could happen again if you don't learn from it. But this is something that people who are very active uh, can suffer from. This is something I'm currently dealing with right now. I injured my knee in my uh, jujitsu class. And the problem is I would go in and watch and I was so enamored with the sport, I wanted to return as fast as possible so I can keep my progress. Well, as a result, I ended up messing my knee up and it didn't heal as quickly as it should have, so it took longer. So now I'm in the process of healing again, so I've, I've got to take time off. I don't even, you know, just come in because if I come in, I'll start to watch and I'll start to get anxious and I'll try to return too early. So for me, it's just a matter of separating myself. Like, look, I need to find something else to do that's not gonna damage my knee so that I can recover properly and then I can come back full force. So different strokes for different folks when it comes to that one. So you wanna make sure you don't come back too soon. All right, so what are some characteristics of people who are not very active? Okay. So let's say you're one of those people where you don't really do much. Um, you would like to just chill around the house and not do anything at all. If life went your way, you would get paid not to do anything. Okay? So for those people, let's say um, it will be easier for them to relax. It will be easier for them to relax. Now why is that? Well, these people are at peace, I would say. To a degree, these people feel like, um, okay, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much here. I'm injured. I need to get better. So I'm going to just chill and I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to just put my feet up and I'm just going to sit here and look at the wall and I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to relax. Well, those people in this particular circumstance are the people who are able to get rested and who are able to recover a little faster because they're not constantly beating themselves up and focusing on the negatives. They're focusing on getting themselves better and being patient. So that, can, that particular characteristic can be effective here. Um, also, you need to realize the mind will be at peace when you're immobilized and you can't move around a lot if you're accepting of the fact that you need to rest. So it's easier for you to recover if you're not constantly worrying yourself about things that need to be done while you're injured. Like, okay, I had all these things to do before my knee got messed up. So now, as a result of my knee being messed up, I can't do those things. And now I have to sit here and heal. And now I'm bored. So I feel like I'm not doing anything. And I'm just completely stressed out. No, you have to chill. You have to chill. Very important. So yeah, you have to understand having your mind at peace is going to allow you a quicker, speedier healing process because you're not constantly stressing yourself out. Stress is very bad for the body. Um, also, it will be easier to rely on family and friends for those people. These people have come to grips with the fact that they're injured. These people have admitted, you know, look, I'm all messed up. You know, I have people here that are here to help me, so I need to just really rely on these people because these are the people that are here to take care of me and to make sure that my well-being is at, you know, it's pretty much um, at the forefront to make sure everything's going, going okay. So, yeah, these people are going to be the people that want to help you as much as possible, and they're able to rely on those people. The reason for that being is because it's an easier mind process. They're just more 
mild on themselves. They're not beating themselves up. They've become, uh, they've come to uh, a realization that they do need help. They come to a realization that they need to be um, tended to. And this, for instance, can be something that bothers somebody who's very active because they're not used to people relying on them, or excuse me, relying on other people. And these people here are the other way. I mean, it's just a, a, a complete reverse way of thinking for the two people. So that is a very important factor.